decimal division using the long division method. With decimal division, we will not end up with a remainder at the end of our sum. We will end up with a decimal number. Remember to write your times table down the side of the page to help you with your multiplication. And we'll start this sum by saying how many times does 12 fit into 4? You can't fit 12 into 4 as 4 is too small. So we can write a zero up there and then we say to ourselves how many times does 12 fit into 48? 12 fits into 48 exactly 4 times. We write a 4 up here and as 12 times 4 is 48 we're doing long division we write the answer here and we do a subtraction sum. 8 take away 8 is 0 4 take away 4 is 0. Next we bring down our next digit which is an 8 and we say to ourselves how many times does 12 fit into 8? Again 8 is too small 12 won't fit into it so we have to put a 0 here so we move the answer to our sum along. We'll then bring down the next digit which is a 1 and we say to ourselves how many times does 12 fit into 81? 12 will fit into 81 6 times exactly with a remainder. 6 times 12 is 72. We'll write the 6 up here on our answers and we write 72 down here and do another subtraction sum. We take 72 away from 81. Which gives us a remainder of 9. And then we can fly in a 0. We're now working beyond the decimal point. We finish working with our whole number, we're moving on to a decimal answer now. We say to ourselves, how many times does 12 fit into 90? Looking at our times table, we see that 7 times 12 is 84, 8 times 12 is 96, that's too big. So we have to go for 7 times 12. We write our 7 up here for our answer, and we write 84 down here. Then we take 84 away from 90, which gives us an answer of 6. We can then fly in another 0 to keep the sum going. This is what you're allowed to do with decimal division. You keep bringing in zeros until you can work no more, until you're finished with your answer. We say how many times does 12 go into 60? Look at our sum, we see that 5 times 12 is 60 exactly. So we write the answer of 5 here. 5 times 12 is 60. We take 60 from 60, we have nothing left over, so our sum is finished. The answer to how many times does 12 fit into 4881 is 406.75.